أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من شر الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وطبيب نفوسنا وشفيع ذنوبنا سيدنا ومولانا أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد والصلاة والسلام على أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين الميامين المنتجبين واللعنة الدائمة الأبدية على أعدائهم أجمعين إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد فقد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في محكم كتابه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد كتبنا في الزبور من بعد الذكر أن الأرض يرثها عبادي الصالحون آمنا بالله صدق الله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم my beloved sons and daughters brothers and sisters ورحمة الله وبركاته Inshallah, today we are going to talk about the accomplishments, but which type? Economical and architectural accomplishments and achievements of the Imam. These are also uh, based on the narrations of the Imam, and uh, we'll see what we can do in this small session, uh, and otherwise we'll have to leave uh, the rest to our next session. Economical ac accomplishments. We mentioned that there will be a lot of wealth, wealth, wealth. The earth will bring its uh, treasures, bring forth its treasures. There will be riches, uh, riches and riches. People will not be poor anymore. The animals, they will have enough to live on. So they will not attack on each other. The human, they will have enough. If the, if the person will come for charity, you know, he gets the charity, he returns it to, to, to the treasury. Why? Because he has more than the, the charity. I mean, he has a lot of uh, things. So people, they will be needless for this charity. Suppose if somebody comes, he'll come with greed. I want to take this charity. Once he takes, he says, why, why do I take this charity? I don't need it. It was just a greed. He will repent and he'll drop the charity back. Uh, uh, there are people, the, the treasury will ask, is there anybody needy? Is there anyone needs money? Is there anybody who needs wealth? Is there, is there, is there? Nobody will be there. The charity will be stopped. It will not be stopped because lack of money. It will be stopped because lack of poverty. There will be riches and riches and riches and people will not need. This is the blessing because people, they will justice, peace, respect each other, no bloodshed, no this, no that. The Imam is there, the infallible is there, he brings its, its blessings. That is one of the fruits of the government of infallible Ali Salatu Islam. Like in Imam Ali's time, same. You, you, you put Imam Ali and Imam Mahdi. When you when you study the lifestyle of Imam Ali Ali Salatu Islam, actually you are looking what will happen in future in the go government of Imam Mahdi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make his appearance soon. So plenty of wealth, charity will be distributed in gold, and no one uh, no one to take the charity. Uh Sallallahu this in Bukhari. Bukhari says, uh, this is a Sunni narrator, a Sunni book of, uh, of narrations. And the Prophet ﷺ said that there will be time, uh, people, uh, a man will go to houses. Is there anybody? I want to give charity. I want to give uh, charity in gold. Sadaqah, charity, pour it in gold. There will be no one there to, uh, to take it. So uh, this is uh, one of the things. The earth and the heaven will bring forth their riches and the livestock will increase in abundance. This is the, the rain will uh, be, uh, fall plenty in a way that it will not destroy the, the, the communities. It will be securing the communities. It will be fertiling the lands and all these kind of things. So there will be, uh, there will be ta'man al-baha'im wa siba. Even the animals, they will find security in the government of the imam and uh, there's a word which is used, ma afladu akbadiha. The the earth will uh, the earth will throw out its its precious hidden things. What are these precious hidden things? The gold and silver will be out, not in the ground. People they will they will they will pick up golds from the ground. You know, so uh, this is like uh, the earth will throw out its riches. <sighs> Lack of poverty. Every criminal. Okay, now this is one of the beautiful points. Why people, they commit crime? Why people, they steal? No money, economical problem. 
Why there is a lot of corruption, temptations, uh, uh, fornication and adultery? Economical problem. No, it's desire. The people, they have temptations. Sex, sexual desires. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, that is sexual desire. Okay. But let's say sexual desire comes from where? From the inside. These sexual sins are committed. Why? Why a person is committing sexual sins? First of all, for that lady who doesn't find enough to eat, she goes under compulsion, under compulsion or under pressure, she becomes forceful, she doesn't have anything, she'll die if she'll not commit fornication. So economical problem, fornication. Okay, that guy who's rich, he, he has these desires, yes, if this lady was not available, that guy would not have committed fornication. You know, if that guy was not, uh, if that guy, yeah, but why? If this lady was not there, that guy, rich guy, will not find a place to commit fornication, commit adultery. So it's all linked together. Economical problems brings fornication. Okay, why does that guy, rich guy, wants to commit fornication? Why don't he just go and get married, get married, you know? Because he has to study, he has to become a doctor, lawyer, attorney, he, he, he's, 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 he has reached the age of adolescence in 13 years old, especially if he's from Middle East, they, 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 they become mature very fast, you know. And here, uh, they, 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 he's like 12, 13 years, and he has to go all the way to get his degree until 25 years old. He has to wait for 12 years to 13 years. He has desires, and especially if, he, if he's eating all that spicy and chalata and bean burritos and all those kind of things, which uh, increases the hormone, uh, hormone uh, in his body and the hormone starts to pump in his body, of course he will be compelled to commit haram. See, economical problem. He has to wait. He will not get a job until he has degree, until he has proper career, until the so all this time he'll be committing. So see, it's all about economical problem. Economical problem creates this kind of desire. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, op opens the doors to be for, to, for the desires to be fulfilled by haram. This there. Every sin you see, why a person kills, murders, greed of wealth. Why a person does this? Wealth. Why a person... Uh, uh, everywhere you will find every crime, every crime on this. If you will trace down the crimes, it will end up into economical problem, poverty. Why people they sell drugs? Why people they are having drugs? Because there is drug available. Why, pe why, pe why people they sell drugs? Money. They want money. See? <laughs> The, 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 it all ends up into money, economical problem. So, when we say the time of the 12th Imam, there will be no sins committed, people will get married early ages, people will have enough wealth to live, people will study, educate, they will not have to worry. The lady, she will secure herself because she has enough money, she doesn't need to go and sell herself uh, to these filthy uh, fornicators, you know. So these kind of filthy fornicators and adultery, adulterer, they destroy the life of these women, you know. Instead of giving them uh, money just to help them, no, come and sleep with me. What is this nonsense, this filthy nature of the human? Human are, become, human are becoming worse than animals. That's why these women, they have to sell their, their, their dignity just to earn a little bit of money to, to, to have the, secure their bread and to take care of their family. This is a horrible situation. So if there, if there will be no poverty, of course there will be no sins. So that's why when it, the, 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 the penalties will be stopped, it's not the Imam will stop the penalty. No, 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 the penalties are legislation. Imam will not change the legislation because there will be no need to implement the penalties. Why? After Sufyani, after the Dajjal, after these, these things are done, the whole system of Imam Ali Salatusam will not require penalty. Why? Because it will be utopia. There will be an, an idyllic society. Uh, um, uh, I, uh, this ideal society, no crimes committed. Everybody will respect each other. So every criminal will regret. Every criminal will regret and say, because of this money, because of this wealth, I did this crime and that crime, and will not take it. I don't want this money. You know. Tirmidhi, uh, from the, uh, from the uh, uh, school of companion, also uh, mentions this narration, which indicates this thing. If someone needy comes and asks for wealth, the Imam will tell him to take whatever he wants from it. 
go this is the treasury it's unlocked <laughs> open it take whatever this person will come and take the wealth such person fills his cloth and carries he starts to carry everything and whatever he carries but then he says why am why, why am i taking all this stuff he will return it back he'll return it back he said i don't need all the he'll return it i don't need all this thing you know and so this is the thing that even the greed will stop when the time will when the time of imam will come economical enrichment he will call to the people come and take this wealth but no one will come except one person who comes to the treasurer and fills a, a cloth this is a hadith narration indicated in narration and uh, with it and then regrets it and 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 will intend to return it the treasurer will say no 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 take it like he filled his cloth with all these treasures and now he's, he regrets he wants to drop it back the treasurer said no 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 get it out from my side and we don't want it take it away take it away the enrichment the rich society society will be so rich so uh, this is the enrichment in the society filled with crop and it and then regret it and will intend to return the treasurer will say we don't we don't we, we do not take back what we have given the treasures of the earth will appear and everything destructed on the earth will be rebuilt because of the wars and all these things the destruction everything will be rebuilt now we talk about the advanced technology advanced technology in the time of the imam where we can find that indications of course in the narrations as mentioned in the section of Dajjal that he will have advanced means of transportation the sun moves with Dajjal that means the plane when going from west to east you, go, you move with the sun that means the sun moves with the Dajjal so that is number one Dajjal, uh, in Dajjal there are a lot of metaphorical indications of the technology of the advanced technology so in the narrations of the Dajjal, there are a lot of indications about this advanced technology, like his his uh, his his his, uh, his donkey or his uh, his uh, transportation device raises up his nose. It can see the horizon. That means it's a flying vehicle. It's a flying uh, plane or jet plane or something like that. The sun moves with the Dajjal. Perhaps when he travels from the west to the east, or as the author says, the sun indicates the nuclear bomb which releases energy like the sun that means wherever his uh, wherever his system reaches then it reaches with the threat of WMD that means the sun goes with him that means he has this nuclear energy uh, WMD with him going with him moves with him mountain of smoke perhaps industries or of the uh, or industries or uh, the rockets or huge smoke releasing armor or any kind of smoke releasing device uh, or to a means of transportation or uh, defensing a defense mechanism uh, behind him uh, behind him is white beautiful mountain behind him is white beautiful mountains perhaps buildings and apparently nice economical system nice uh, temptation economical system uh, skyscrapers downtowns and this once you get inside that system you get drained everything you can earn money and after that you, are, you don't have anything there in that system behind him is why his transportation mean is very fast holds the earth and we mentioned this previously we are not going to repeat if you want review our lectures which were given in the past uh, couple of days we mentioned all these things more metaphor metaphors indicating advanced technology his animal raises his head it sees perhaps the window of the transportation device from the cockpit for example the horizon uh, it sees the horizon of the west and the east he shouts loudly in a way that the east and the west hears him advanced media technology yeah juj and majuj they will be throwing their arrows maybe rockets in the heavens air fighters perhaps air fighters in the heaven they will be showing throwing the rockets yeah juj and majuj the sword of imam will release fire maybe imam has a device uh, a weapon which releases ray, laser beam or, or laser weapon or something like that uh, i don't want to go star wars and say uh, uh, lightsabers and all those kind of things but anyhow uh, his companions travel with the clouds travel with the clouds flying devices you know uh, imam will ride 
the hard clouds or domes of light, spaceships, space shuttles, uh, domes of lights, dome, uh, like a dome structure, light, UFOs, whatever, Imam is going to uh, write those structures, hard clouds, maybe clouds uh, which has thunder, that means it has sound, you know, like how strong sounds these, uh, these transportation device they make which, which they fly. Uh, the people will communicate with the Al-Qa'im without any messenger. Of course, you don't need any messenger, cell phone, communication, you know. They can see him and talk to him. Uh, audio video cell phones nowadays, uh, the audio video cell phones are coming in the way. Rapid transmission of audio and video signals. The believers in the East and the West will be seeing each other in the time of Al-Qa'im. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make his appearance soon. The wind will carry the message of Al-Qa'im, media, waves, radio waves, and tell the people, this is Mahdi, this is Mahdi. The waves, the sound waves, wind will carry because we have to have a wind medium for the sound waves to be transported. A man will fear talking in, his ha talking in their houses in the time of Imam Mahdi, ajallahu ta'ala farajahu shayr. Ears, uh, walls have ears? No. The bugs the devices, spying devices, you know, they will be bugging. Of course, after the uh, time of the Imam, after Imam takes over the whole thing, the, the bug spine will go eliminate because nobody will bug on each other, nobody will hurt each other. This is before, when the time of Imam, the, the countries, they will be spying on everybody who is, is he's a follower of Imam, is he a follower of Imam. They want to trace them down, they want to trace them down, they want to... Uh, they want to trace them down and this is the thing that they will they will have this bugging uh, technology to bug and to to, to, uh, to to listen to everybody what's happening which is now they started in the in the in the name of patriotism they have the right to bug put the bugs and to 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 spy on every single person just because he might be a terrorist because of the doubt of the terrorism so the, so people will be afraid to talk in their houses oh my goodness there because in those days they didn't have that kind of thing they have, if the spy is there spy is going to listen from outside uh, from outside he will uh, uh, he will uh, ease uh, drop but uh, but nowadays no, you have bugs inside the house, you don't know. In your car, everywhere, there's somebody holding a transmitter from outside, capturing all your uh, a sonic device, capturing all your sounds and communication, you know. So anyhow, uh, it's scary, it's kind of scary, you know, no privacy. Privacy, uh, people, they cannot have privacy. You know, you're afraid, you go into the restroom, there might be some camera watching you. Oh my goodness, what a horrible time. So this is what the Imam said, that a man will fear talking in their houses in the time of Imam Mahdi, alayhi salatu wasalam, fearing that, he, uh, that the wall might testify against him. Uh, Imam Mahdi, alayhi salatu wasalam, will have enough evidences to establish judicial decisions and execution of punishments without the testimonies due to the advanced recording devices. Imam Mahdi will not wait for two testimonies. Uh, if there is a crime, there will be recording devices, they will be recording the crimes. The criminals will be caught red-handed because of the advanced technological uh, device. Imam Mahdi will not need the testimonies of, because the testimonies, they may, they may be liar. There is a possibility of them uh, making errors, but these devices will be so advanced under the control of Imam Mahdi Sharif that it will be so obvious that they will not need to, uh, to have those uh, premature system of testimonies and uh, witnesses. Transportation, fast transportation system, perhaps transportation in the speed of light, uh, perhaps indicating the spe uh, speed of lightning, lightning, kalbark. So kalbark, lightning means speed of light, you know. Uh, this can be understood miraculously, but with the advanced science and technology, everything can be without the use of miraculous interpretation, as Sayyid Muhammad al Sadr says. Why do we have to just uh, understand uh, things miraculously where there is a reasonable explanation to the narrations? So this is regarding the transportation, ride of the Imam. Now let's see the ride of Imam alayhi salatu wasalam. I think he'll be, uh, he'll be flying stealth, you know. Uh, look at the description of the ride of the Imam alayhi salatu wasalam. When Imam Mahdi rides, his pitch black or dark spotted. Pitch black or dark spotted uh, horse, horse stealth, you know, airplane, a kind of. Uh, a spotted, what are they spotted? Maybe the nuts and bolts or screws or bolts, because this airplane, they have bolts, uh, so these are spots. 
or pitched black horse with white spots could be the windows the white spots could be the windows may, may, maybe the plane like stellar nowadays or more advanced maybe it's like nowadays stellar or more advanced something protrudes in between its eyes what is this protrusion, uh, protrusion? something is coming out do you see like nose of the airplane those days like the eyes of the cockpit and then there is this nose of the airplane uh, it like like the summit of the mountain narration says like the summit of the mountain between the eyes something is out from the eyes uh, like the mountain in front of the mountain could be the conical nose of the airplane which protrudes uh, out in front of the front windows releases a light this thing releases a light of course the headlight it can be understood now very easily wherever where, where everyone receives the light of it that means the signal of it the signal of it is received by everyone so that means that this protrusion is a kind of headlight when it is released people they can see the imam through media through this agency everybody can see the light of the plane of the imam uh, metaphorically it could be the light of guidance wherever imam goes the, he gives the light of guidance or the light of guidance as a metaphor or the light of the airplane so these uh, it, uh, th this light could be miraculous light says let's keep the miraculous aside a little bit it is uh, the plain uh, metaphorical light of guidance hidayah guiding the people the third which is the realistic explanation of the plain headlight when it moves the whole earth will see it of course obviously uh, when imam is uh, going to go somewhere a leader of a country travels cnn uh, nbc every channel of the earth will especially if he is a leader of the earth every single channel will broadcast his, his travel in his news that's obvious so um, uh, when, when it moves the whole earth will see it it's obviously when a ruler travels the news comes on all the channels of the earth and how it if such person was the ruler of the entire earth that makes it more important for this ruler now i'm not going to mention the narrations in arabic we already explained in english we are running out of our time Jurist woman in the time of the imam there will be female judges don't be surprised don't be surprised because that is the that's obvious imam will need female because there are female issues female concern female can understand female better so these will be jurists this will be mujtahidat this will be great scholars and now we can see rise of female mujtahidin in qom and in najaf you know, Sayyid Shaykh Muhammad Baqir Sadr Rahmatullah Alayh, his sister Bintul Huda Rahmatullah Alayh was killed, also murdered by Saddam. May Allah's uh, condemnation be upon him. This lady, this, this innocent lady, she was a mujtahid, she was a ayatullah, female ayatullah, and she was murdered by this tyrant. Since everyone will have more than enough, then there will be no crime because all the crimes are committed due to the economical situation even the illegal sex because one cannot get married early, uh, uh, married earlier and has to wait to stabilize his economical situation uh, or establish his economical system situation and the temptations such as adulterers and adulterer are therefore uh, are there for the economical reasons women will become scholars like uh, Hakima, Lady Hakima, Ma, uh, Lady Hakima, she was, uh, she, uh, she was, she, she attended five infallibles. Uh, she is the daughter of Imam Muhammad al Jawad. She is the sister of Imam Ali al Hadi. She is the aunt of Imam Hassan al Askari. She was there to, uh, to, to witness the birth of Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam. And she was the student of all these Imams. And she was the representative of Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam. Like Master Lady Zainab alayhi salatu wasalam. So there will be women representative, women jurists in the time of Imam alayhi salatu wasalam. And will have their role issuing decree or, 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 or uh, a decree. Uh, they will be judges as well under the government of Imam Ali Salatu So they will be uh, they will be issuing decrees or judgments as well judgments as well like under the decree uh, under the government of Imam Ali Salatu Advancement in construction. Now construction will be very advanced in the time of Imam Ali Salatu Of course the technology nowadays we can see construction. So it's obvious Imam will come, he'll not bring the people back into the tent, days of tents, as some of the, the some of the opinions are there. The the oil will finish, everything will finish, and the whole time will come back, time of horses and tents. No, that is not correct. 
the construction is going to advance. They advance, there will be there will be skyscrapers. Imam Ali Salatwasam will bring fascinating construction ideologies in the all day. Imam Ali Ali Salatwasam said that if they will ask me, if they will ask me, I will show them how to make light out of this water. This is Saluni Qabla al his grandson. This is the he has the knowledge, dini knowledge, religious, non-religious, knowledge of everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given, and that is mentioned in Surah Yasin wa kullu shayin ahsaynahu fi imamin mubin. And everything we have made it inside the obvious Imam. Not Imam this and Imam that and Imam of congregation, Imam Fulan, Imam Fulan. No, 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 no. Obvious Imam, which will be the Imam Mahdi, Ajjalallahu Ta'ala Faraj al Sharif. Kufa will have great construction being the capital, being the capital of the world. It will require a lot of construction. And in many narrations, the Masjid of Kufa will have 1,000 doors because of the public population. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will bring forth the treasures of the earth and its mineral minerals. That means there will be minerals which are not known now. They will be in the time of Imam. So these minerals will be used in construction. Social relations of the people, narrations indicate that the hatred will be removed from the hearts of the human and the animals. Even the animals, it's all reputation. Animals uh, will, uh, will live peace, but this is the narration that we were, we were giving just a brief, uh, 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 brief uh, uh, idea. Now we are uh, giving the uh, uh, interpretation of the narration of Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasam, Amir al Mu'mineen. We we'll live in peace, everyone will feel safe in a way that woman travels alone from Iraq to Syria. She puts her steps on the plant, she takes the jungle routes, perhaps she puts the steps on the plants, nobody tackles her, nobody hurts her, nobody even points, abuses, insults, anything to her. She will travel alone from Iraq to Syria and nobody will hurt her, nobody will offend her. Alone in this desert, she'll, put the, she'll go into the jungle, she'll, walk, she'll step on plants, whatever she'll do, and her ornaments on her, uh, on her head. She'll be having her gold inside her job, of course, gold and everything, but ornaments will be there on, on her. Uh, uh, no, uh, no beast scares her, uh, uh, scares, uh, her or, uh, or terrifies her. Uh, uh, no beast scares her or terrifies her. So uh, it will be safe and peace in the time of Imam Ali Salatu Salam. Again, architecture and construction. The narrations indicate the houses of Kufa will connect with Karbala. A lot of urban, a lot of urban advancement, uh, uh, civilization, the, the houses will increase and uh, the Kufa and Karbala, these are two uh, the cities, they have distance about like for example one and a half hour to two half hour, or two hour drive, they will be connected like Chicago, how Chicago is connected all the suburbs in New York, the same thing will happen to Karbala and Najaf or Kufa. Special consideration in the construction of the holy shrines will be taken, buildings and cities for, its, for it is mentioned that he will remove all the innovations, bid'ah, which affects the real worship and rituals of the pilgrims, pilgrims uh, of the pilgrimage or of the pilgrims. Because when the pilgrims they go, like for example, shaitan was promoted. Now shaitan is now, before it was one pillar, now it's huge wall. We don't know where exactly to hit, where is the real pillar. So the, these kind of extra things which are there, instead of making, making better, circumstances for the Hajjaj to come and Hajj, uh, the worship are being affected. Okay, let's make skyscrapers, let's make organize the Hajjaj, let's make those uh, those cranes, those tubes, those uh, those undergrounds, uh, let, let's, let's, uh, let's help the Hajjaj transportation in a better way, those trains, those shuttles, those tubes, those uh, uh, trams, whatever, there are plenty. If, 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 if Mecca was in the hand of Japanese or in Japan, they, it would have been in a better situation. The problem is uh, the, the, the thinking of the, the, the engineers there in Mecca, it's backwards, you know. Instead of making things easy, they change the, 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 the religious structures. They, instead of making it easier, thinking on the other side, they just go and attack or they, 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 just, they just change the whole, uh, uh, the, the whole configuration of the religious sites. So that's kind of thing, uh, Imam Mahdi will come and he will re-change uh, the whole thing, bring it back to its original form of worship, so the worship is correct, and he will solve the problem of the 
the, 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 the huge number of hujjad, rather than ch making these changes in the rituals, he will make the changes in the, in the transportation and uh, uh, solving the crowd problems and all those kind of things. The, nobody will be restricted for hajj, as we will see. Everybody will come. How will everybody will come? And the rituals will uh, be as they were before. The solve the, the solution will be he will solve the urban problem. The, the 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 buildings and everything, the train, the transportation system will be much more better. Mineral production. The earth will bring forth its minerals and treasures. That means that there will be a lot of work in its production and manufacturing goods out of such minerals. Perhaps space traveling will be a regular thing, which uh, which will require special fuel, which could last longer this for longer distance and time. Other accomplishments: simplifying the masajids, removing. Uh, remove all the extra decorations and ornaments, destroy the massages which were built for hypocrisy to fight the righteous ones. So he will, uh, 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 which were built for uh, disunity, hypocrisy, and competition purposes. Implementing the punishments of the criminals, whether the crimes were religious or social or economical, because implementing the punishments prescribed uh, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of the factors to have a s secured society for those who are less pious. So, let's say, people, they will be pious, but not everybody will have the same level of piety. Crimes will not be committed, because the, 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 the wealth will be plenty. But still, there might be few misfortunate people, they, they might just, uh, they have this horrible nature to commit crimes, they might commit crimes. So that's why the justice, the, 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 the punishment needs to be executed. And the punishment will, when it will be executed, it will prevent others from committing crimes. So that's why the society will be totally secured from every aspect. Masajid will be the part of the government. Uh, in the beginning, the fornicators will be, uh, will be the majority in the army of the opponents, Sufyani and Dajjal. So majority will be the fornicators in the army of Sufyani and Dajjal or children of fornicators, illegitimate children. Perhaps for the fear of the punishment. You know, the fornicators will be in the army of uh, Sufyani, uh, maybe because they don't want to be with the Imam, because they are, they are afraid they will be punished, somehow, something like that. The Masajid will become uh, the governmental buildings as mentioned, and the, the Masajid, Masjid of Kufa will be, the acting, uh, will be acting as capital, as the capital building of Imam Ali Salat Wasam as well, which is a public place and his government will be open to the public and their opinion. It will not be closed door, uh, political government, you know, the politicians, they decide and then dump it on the people. No, the people, they will have their own share and their own right. Of course, the qualifications will be, uh, will be counted. Otherwise, that's the chaotic system. Qualifications, anybody who's qualified, uh, he will give his qualified opinion in his field of qualification. That will be accepted. It's an open door. Masjid of Sahla in Kufa will be the Department of State Treasury. His place of worship will be beside the grave of Amir al-Mu'mineen. So Masjid al Kufa will be the state government building. State Treasury will be Masjid al Sahla, the, the tre Treasury Department. And then uh, uh, the Masjid of Worship, the biggest mosque in the whole world, will be beside the grave of Imam Ali alayhi salatu Hajj in the time of Imam Mahdi. Hajj, uh, Hajj, the Hajj in the time of Imam Mahdi uh, will increase in the time of Imam. The numbers will increase and the Masjid the Imam Mahdi will bring the Masjid as it was before. How will he manage? That's the key. He's smart, talented, his technology in his hand. He will manage to let people, everybody do Hajj peacefully without people being hurt, without people being disturbed, without people being inju injured, without people being uh, horrified, terrified, messed up. Everything will be done in, in a very organized, unique form. Now the government, the Saudi government is trying their best, but still they are very behind to provide that kind of security for the crowds of Hajjaj with the stampede. It is not the government, the Saudi government problem, it's the Hajjaj. They are stampeding. Many of the Hajjaj are ignorant. So it's all together. The government, they are a little bit behind. The Hajjaj, they are much more behind in the old caveman ages, you know. They just, you, you'll see in Hajj, when you go up to Pelta Shaitan, they'll be pushing here and there, they'll throw you here, here. They, they just want to, what kind of Hajj is this? Are you worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You, you come to throw Shaitan and you become a Shaitan and you hurt the women and children and everybody is hurt by these people? Come on, I mean, that's too much. So these Hajjaj, many of them, they go backwards. 
So we don't blame, uh, we, we, the blame falls on everybody. The, the, some on the government, most of the, on the hujjad, and uh, the mentality uh, also has to be blamed uh, because we have to learn, we have to use the technology in providing uh, peaceful hajj for the hujjad. Hajj in the time of Imam Ali will increase, in, the, in, that in that time, in the time of Imam, and without any restrictions and limitations, no visa, no nothing, Hajj, just bring your uh, ID and get inside the Mecca and you will make certain constructional changes to meet such purposes. So, since it, is, it will be the community of committed and peace, uh, committed and peaceful, uh, committed ones, peace and security will be established automatically. People are committed. So they will, they, they, you will not need police, you will not need armies, you will not need... Because in the inside, everybody is police of himself. Everybody is guard of himself. And security will be... Uh, peace and security, uh, since it will be a community of committed ones, then the peace and security will be established. Uh, will, uh, will be established. Then there will be no fear of depriving someone from Hajj due to the security reasons. So it will be peace. So why to stop people from coming to Hajj because of the security reasons? That is because the government will be the public government of peace. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring that day soon. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us among the, the loyal and sincere supporters of our beloved Imam uh, in his occultation and after his occultation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, accept our fasting and our worship in this holy month. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all our beloved ones who have left this world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep all our beloved ones safe and secure from every evil and every terror around the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, keep us under the flag of our beloved Imam Ajar Allah ta'ala for Rajah Sharif. Always working for him, supporting him in, in this world, in, this, in, the, in his occultation and after his appearance. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Wa akhiru da'wan alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala muhammad wa alayhi wa